happened in the game? Pog. Uh, people who I don't know. All right, hopefully you get no levers. Let's go. No! What happened? What happened? You declined to start the game? Why not? Why you want to start? What, what, what's going on? Are we good to start? Are we good to start? No? All right, maybe not. <laughs> All right, maybe. I'm gonna try it again. One time. If you refuse again, I'm gonna kick you. Okay, it's fine. Never mind. All right, we're good. We got a game. Let's go. We got a game. Oh my god, dude. This is not. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot that I was messing around with stuff. All right, what sort of fun business are we doing this game? I see a stork's nest, and I am thinking devious thoughts. They're not good thoughts, but they're devious thoughts. This is a very interesting pack to pick from. I have some ideas. My ideas are that I'm second. I like furniture a lot. I could get very crazy here. You wanna get really crazy? I think something like this is not terrible. And then we just build like, we play a million ox, we build a bunch of rooms, we get free improvements, and then on those improvements, we get a stork's nest on as one of them. I think this is good. I like this. We're gonna do this. This is a good combo. So yeah, so this card makes us that when we build rooms, we get to play improvements up for one one uh, thing less. I think this is pretty pog. We do have to play five ox early if we wanna do this with our furniture. And that means our food's gonna be very, very scuffed. Um, getting five ox and getting the stork's nest up is gonna be hard. I'm down to try and make this work though. We don't have to go this direction. I could probably wheel the stork's nest, honestly. If I'm gonna wheel the stork's nest, then I might as well take something else like horse drawn boat. We might as well take this and just wheel the stork's nest, right? Cause the, these, the stork's nest is gonna be here in the pack. All right, we'll just wheel stork's nest. That's fine. We'll just wheel it. We'll wheel it. We're definitely taking four nade. Absolutely. There's like no question that we're taking four nade here if our plan is to wheel stork's nest. Our plans to to wheel that, then that's the that's the the plan. Um, also, if our plan is to do that, we're gonna play tutor. <laughs> if our plan is to play a million ox, I guess we're gonna play tutor. All right, everything's working out. We just need to wheel this stork's nest, and we're good. If we don't wheel the stork's nest, we're we're gonna have to do a little bit of a different plan here. But overall, this is fine. We need this four nade. So this four nade is like so nuts here. It's so good. Yeah, we're gonna tutor. This is our plan. We're gonna wheel the stork's nest and we're just gonna pog with the stork's nest this game. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna slam a stork's nest. And by slam a stork's nest, I mean that we need a million food early on. This foreignade, honestly, we absolutely have to have it. We, we It's completely necessary for a game like this, for what we're doing. We need so many actions. I think the first room that we build, we can get the storks nest out in time. But after that, it's going to be really fishy. We really want ox that make building easier here. If we get ox that make building easier, we're going to have a good time this game. We have ox that make building easier. We're going to have a really good time this game. We may not be able to do the furniture storks nest thing on the on the first uh, grow, but we'll probably be able to do it by the the, the second and third grow. Probably will be able to do it then. Yo, what's up, Cassie? How's it going? Um, Lantern House is hilariously going to be too slow. God, don't give me Lantern House with this hand. You're going to give me Lantern House with a tutor hand. What a tilter. That's so lame. I mean, I have to play Lantern House here. All right. Well, if you're going to give me a hand that's going to score like a 60, that's fine. If, if you really want to do that to me, then I'm fine with that. If you're going to give me Lantern House tutor, then whatever. I mean, it's fine, I guess. What else do I take here? This is maybe a pet lover hand. Honestly, maybe a pet lover hand here. 
My wheel out of this pack is gonna suck balls. My wheel out of this pack is gonna be so bad. Maybe I can get the clay fire. Clay fire is probably the best thing. Base practice, yay, have fun with the base practice. Don't drop the base. Oh, uh, I wanna play pet lover here. Yeah, Storehouse Keeper's fine. Got him, yeah. <laughs> Pet Lover's okay here. Storehouse Keeper's okay. Furniture Plan's looking a lot more sus. Storehouse Keeper's just so good. I mean, th this card's like never bad. Yeah, we'll, we'll wheel the pet. Whatever we wheel out of this pack is going to be fine. We'll wheel the pet lover or something. I don't know. We'll wheel something. Um, unfortunate that we took Storehouse Keeper and got past a, a Pattern Maker here. Lettuce Patch is crazy. Lettuce Patch is so good when we want to play a million ox. Uh, Bell Founder is very tempting. The problem is that we have not really... I mean, I could... <laughs> we could Storehouse Keeper Bell Founder. That's a combo, right? It's a really bad combo. There was a Clay Delivery Man going around. So bad, though. So, so bad. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I could do it. I think that Pattern Maker is probably better. I like Pattern Maker a lot here. Um, gives you a lot of grain. The food is good. The wood's gonna be a little bit rough this game, though. I don't want to convert clay into food, though. Converting stone to food is not bad either. Yeah, like the thing about it is that, um, yeah, actually, give me the stone carver. Yeah, give me this. Get, turning turning stone to food is still fine. Like it's still totally fine. Oh, we have clay supply. Wait a second, we have clay supply. No, dude, I could play bell vendor clay supply. <sighs> don't. Why would we do that to me? Why would they do that to me like this? All right, you got me, Chat. I've been gotten. I've been, I've been, I've been freaking bamboozled by the Bell Founder. We have, we have another combo with it too. Storehouse Keeper actually works with Bell Founder too. Storehouse Keeper is also not terrible with Bell Founder. I still hate it. I don't like it, but it's not terrible, which is unfortunate because I, I, I don't want to do it. Bell Founder, oh yeah, it's, uh, I'll, uh, thank you for asking, by the way, if you ever want to know what a card does, whoops, that is not what I meant to do, I meant to take it, it it's, um, if you have a clay at the end of your round, you can dump the clay to, all the clay in your supply to get either three food or a victory point, so if you have, like, trickles of clay, it's quite good, if you have anything that trickles clay, it's quite good, but if you don't have anything that, that trickles clay, it's, like, not very good, um, but I mean, it's a, it's a combo with Storehouse Keeper, so there's that. There is that. I have so many ox I wanna play, or so many miners I wanna play early, but that's fine. We don't have any efficient ways to play miners here. That's okay. That's totally fine. Oh, we have to play Lantern House first. That's an issue too. We have to go three wood into Lantern House into Auk. That's unfortunate, but whatever. We're just gonna do that and then be super efficient with things. This furniture's looking a little sus too, but whatever. Furniture's gonna help us with our game plan because we want that. Oh, it didn't wheel. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, it's good if you're getting clay randomly. Exactly. It's good if you're getting clay randomly. Exactly. It's good if you're getting clay randomly. So yeah, we want clay very randomly here. Um, consultant is very good in a game like this because consultant gives us two sheep immediately. And this is a game where like, we want to play our ox later on. And this is a good ox to play later on for minor improvements. Milking stool wheeling is just a crime. I'm shocked that milking stool wheeled over like literally anything as milking stool is just completely nuts. So we will take a milking stool. Like milking stool is just so good. It's so, 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 so good. Yeah, consultant is just nice. Like, like when you're playing Tudor Lantern House, like we are, like consultant is just nice. Like anything that gives you access to late game ox that you want to play is gonna be really nice. We are gonna be playing a lot of ox early on. Like we're we're gonna be slamming ox left and right. I don't know what order I'm gonna be doing things in. I hope that the clay delivery man wheels. It probably won't, which is fine. We'll we'll figure something out to do with Bell Founder, but it, like it'll be fine still. Bell Founder clay supply is still okay by itself. Like I, on a surface level, it's still totally fine. 
and maybe we can find an extra clay somewhere through Storehouse Keeper. We can turn we can turn Reedstone Food to Reedstone Food to Points, which is awful. <laughs> it's not good to turn Reedstone Food to Reedstone Food Points, but whatever. <laughs> I I guess it's not the worst of all time. It makes it what makes me want to take Reedstone Food later on, which means we're gonna we want Ox or we want improvements with Stone here. We really want improvements with Stone. I guess we're gonna have a lot of Reed. Having a lot of Reed's nice. Um. Transactor is interesting. Transactor, another Auk that really goes up in value when you want to play Auks later on. I've been very impressed with Domestication Expert, actually. Um, domestication Expert, keeping sheep in your house, uh, very impressive, honestly. I think this is a hand where we're not probably going to play Transactor. We have a lot of... We want to play all of our cards in our hands, so we really have to focus on that. Um, recycled brick I'm thinking about because with Bell Founder it's not that bad to get a million clay at the end of the game. Yeah, I'm actually okay with recycled brick here. These other cards I don't really want to play. I think keeping sheep in your house is fine. We're just going to play this and this. All right. Stop keeping everyone. Reed Pond Wield. That's also criminal that that wield. Scythe Worker makes sense. We will just take this. Um, Reed Pond... I could take Reed Pond. Reed Pond's not terrible. We want to build a bunch of rooms anyways uh, with Furnisher to get our improvements out. So so taking... The problem is that we have to take Reedstone Food a bunch. We have to take Reedstone Food like a million times here. I'll just take a Mining Hammer probably. Mining Hammer's fine. It's totally fine here. It's it's a totally fine card. It's like, you know, we can play it for food later on. It's totally fine. Reed Pond is like fine, but we're going to have a million Reed this game because we're taking Reedstone Food so much. And we, we have nothing to do with Reed except for build rooms. So, so we, we just need to do that. I, mean, I guess we could build BMW, but once again, I really don't want to build BMW if I can avoid it. We really don't want to play many cards other than the cards in our hand, and getting access to stables early is going to be kind of nice. It's going to be nice to get access to stables early here. But yeah, we're going Wood, wood Star Player Lantern House if we get it. If that doesn't happen, um, then I don't know what I'm doing. Wood into, like, clay, something like that. The major minor flips, you can major minor lantern house. But yeah, we're going wood into that. Oh, major minor flip, cool. Um, okay, I gotta resize everything. Let's do that. Uh, okay, size of cards. That can shrink down a little bit. Is this fine? This is fine, chat. This is all good. All poggy woggies. I'm hiding a little, little bit of things, but I think that's okay. Okay, when when they play cards, it's gonna pop it out. No patron. No, I want a patron. I want a patron. Yeah, I guess this is how it's going to be. Um, this is how it's going to be. All right, three wood for me. I want a patron. Why can't I get a patron? Why can't I get one of those? Patron would be so cool for me. Getting past a Lantern House is nuts, though. Lantern House after you pick Tutor is nuts. I'm sad that the frickin', um, the, the Stork's Nest didn't wheel. I'm very sad that didn't wheel here. Okay, this person's plowing on turn one. Very ill-advised to plow on turn one, unless you have something really, really, like, that you're doing with it that's really good. Uh, we're giving the patron two ox. That's very cool. Very poggers. This is actually good for me. I actually don't mind this at all, because it makes it so that way it's more likely I get ox later on. Um, this is fine. I can constable here. I'll play my lantern house here. Thank you very much. We'll just slam our lantern house here. That's fine. I'll make the cards a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can make them a little bit bigger here. I, I, they're a little small. Yeah, I'm sad I didn't get the clay delivery dude back. That's very sad. What am I playing next after Tutor? Definitely leading with Tutor here because obviously we're playing most of the cards in our hand. That's our goal. Yeah, we have a bunch of pretty mopey Ox here. Okay, that person's playing an Ox. That's fine. Uh, weird to not play an Ox here. Why did he take over Ox first turn? Okay, this is good for us too. This means someone's gonna be doing something other than playing Ox. That's nice. Uh, we're gonna take. Oh, we want Storehouse Keeper. We want Storehouse Keeper as soon as humanly possible here. Yeah, Storehouse Keeper has to be the first thing that we play. What is this person doing? This person's going crazy. This person's actually losing their mind. They're, they're plowing fields. If I get two. God, do I take Reedstone food or three wood here? What the heck? Do I take Reedstone food or three wood? 
Their wit's still insane for us. This person's renoing to stone this turn, or renoing to clay. So the clay in this game is going to be kind of scuffed. Uh, I need a forward action. <laughs> Hilariously. Hilariously, I need a forward action here. Getting a, a three wood action is not quite enough for me. I really want a forward action for a mining hammer or something along those lines, or like, like more for a horse-drawn boat. That's good for us. Uh, what am I doing here? I guess it depends on what they play. Is this a toad? This is gonna be a toad. I feel it. I feel a toad. Not a toad. Very weird. Very, very weird start so far. Oh, uh, do I take the two read? Oh, actually, I can just furnish her here. All right, I guess we're just furnishing. Okay. I'll take the two read then. Fine, I'll take it. Fine. If you if you insist, I will take the two read. If you insist, because this person is gonna go Reno, so that way they can play their their point card next turn to get a million points, which is pretty good. Uh, hopefully, there's a four wood spot for us next turn. That would be Pog. Yeah. See, this starting the starting player from green is not great i don't think i don't think the starting player is great i need to change my colors I, I need to switch it so that way my color is like uh the same all the time i need to switch it so that my color is the same all the time no why my wood pile i wanted that i wanted that are they gonna awk on on the first turn i want a wood pile i don't need a wood pile that bad um do i want to is this a game where i want a cooking hearth a cooking implement i think i do I could honestly take a cooking implement here. I have a lot of options. What is this person doing? This person is actually doing like some crazy stuff. I think they're honestly just trying to get up a, a stork's nest like ASAP. They're trying to do what I was trying to do, except for they're doing it with some weird stuff. I, I want the four clay really bad. This bell founder is looking more and more sus. I want a three wood action. Okay, whatever. This person's ever taking wood. This person's ever taking wood. No one's ever taking wood. Yeah, we're just taking the clay. Taking the clay here also has the benefit that this cottager gets to be extra sad. I think this clay is fine. I want a cookie implement anyways. Like, it's not that bad to take it. Yep, they can play their Ock. It's probably like, it's like oh, it's going to be priest. Yeah, it's going to be priest. Going to be priest. Absolutely. That's fine. You can have your priest. I don't care about it. Ba -ba. You got it. So, okay, so I have some options here. No one's building. No one's building. I shouldn't be in a rush to build here. I, I should just not be rushing to build. Um, oh, someone, someone pinged me. Hi, yes. Oh, on BGA. I... I was confused on what streaming in full screen meant. Thank you for reaching out. Okay. I think, yeah, so one thing that I could do here is I could domestication expert, keep a bunch of sheep and then sheep it up. I'm thinking about that. Well, give me this fireplace, I guess. Give me the fireplace, I guess. Uh, I would like this fireplace. Yeah, I guess taking this fireplace is fine. We'll just cut the food in the game. We'll just cut the food. Oh. What is the best browser to use it? Oh, uh, zooming in browser. I see the zooming in is killing it. I see. So if I zoom out all the way, maybe I can make it work. Okay, this is this is not gonna work. <laughs> no way this works. Yeah, there's no way that works. Unfortunate. Uh okay. 
do you have to play? Do you have? To, oh, I see. So you have to be 100% zoom to use it. I understand now. God, this person's going nuts. This person's actually going nuts. They're actually losing their mind here. Um, okay, question. Do I play domestication expert, try and hold cheap? Because I could do that. It's pretty pog. I want to play a bunch of Vox anyways. I might as well do it. It's so much food. It gets me such an insane amount of food. Can anyone else hold animals here? No, they cannot. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just hold sheep here. Holding sheep's fine. Uh, I'll just hold some sheep. That's fine. Then we'll play for it. Well, we'll just build later. No one's threatening builds at all. I mean, this person's building, but like there's nothing I can do about it anyways. We'll just domestication expert and freaking hold some sheep here. It's fine. We'll just we'll just have our food all set up here. It'll be great. Oh, this person, I understand. Uh, and then we gotta take sheep, because we gotta feed. Gotta take the food so that we can feed. Yep. To understand what's going on, thanks for troubleshooting. All right, I understand now. All right, uh, we got ourselves into a bit of a pickle in this game because uh, we are not doing anything broken, and this person is cottager priesting, this other person is doing big, big game country, and uh, we're not doing that. Um, fortunately, we're going to get a massive wood stack this next turn. That's really nice. We're going to get a six wood stack. I don't know. Uh, this, yeah, we're in trouble a little bit. Cook a sheep. It's okay, though. We have a food engine going. That's nice. Having a food engine, very, very nice here. So we have a food engine. We want to play furniture so bad. We're going to take a wood stack and play furniture here. That's definitely going to be the play. Um, okay, family growth not flipping is very bad for us. Definitely very bad for us here. Give wood stack. Give wood. This is the only game we're feeding it. Yeah, exactly. You want to feed. You got to feed your family. Feeding your family is very important. Yeah, I know exactly what this is. I know exactly what this is. This person's storks nesting. They're doing silly stuff. Passing up six wood for a storks nest. Very ill-advised, by the way. Very, very ill-advised, but this is very sweet. This is a very sweet strat. Every time they take grain, they get clay. God, this bell founder would have been insane for this person. Okay, this is very interesting. But whatever, I'll take my six wood. Whatever. My setup is still crazy here. My setup is still completely, completely crazy, so I, I will take it. Oh, Mariska, thank you so much for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for troubleshooting, by the way. I was trying so hard to figure out. I was like, how do I freaking get this to work? I was trying so hard. I couldn't get it to work. And then I, I like, I realized that, um, freaking, yeah, so now I realize that, okay, it was never going to work anyways. And it's the zoom, because I have my browser zoomed in all the time. Like, I, I just always have my browser zoomed in, so it makes sense that that's how it is. This person messed up their fields. Why did they plow five fields and they're not fencing if they're big game countrying? This feels like a mistake. Maybe they have field fences. Is field fences the only thing that explains this? Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, they have field fences. Okay, they have field fences here. Gotta be field fences. Your readstone fooding. That makes sense too. <sighs> what am I doing? What am I doing? I want to build... I gotta play furniture. Furniture is too important here. Furniture horse drawn boat. Yeah, that seems good. All right, cook cook me an animal. I have plenty of food, so I can cook the sheep. No problem. I gotta get my ox out anyways. Rip this freaking bell founder. This bell founder is not gonna be good at all. This bell founder is gonna be quite bad. Yeah, let's play furniture. If you wanna build, you gotta build first. Whatever, they're, they're gonna actually help me out a lot by playing this way. But this Stork's Nest is actually gonna help me out a ton. This Stork's Nest is actually gonna be crazy for me. Cause like the thing about Stork's Nest that normally happens that normally when you're playing Stork's Nest is because you're growing a lot later than everyone else. But in this game, um, the, yeah, this is Field Fences, the most obvious Field Fences of all time. Um, in this game, and then they're gonna immediately re-up starting next turn, which is hilarious. Um, I need, I, I'm very sad that I can't first action build it's not great that i can't do that although maybe it's not that bad maybe i can still family growth second regardless um 
Yeah, this might work out. Yeah, re up starting. Uh huh. Very, of course. Very cool. Very poggers. Yeah, this this was telegraphed. This was very telegraphed. So boring. Super duper boring. What? What? Oh, right. They have. They don't care. They don't care about family growth. All right, let's go. Pog. All right, first family growth. Pog. We love to see it. I would like to build a room right here. And then I would not like to build a stable. I don't think. I don't think we're stabling. Um, I will build a major or minor improvement. Uh, I think we're horse-drawn boating. Horse-drawn boat is like so perfect right now. Yeah, we got a horse. Horse-drawn boat's so stupid. It's such a stupid amount of food. It's such insane amount of food here. I gotta do it. Um, I will not build stables. I, I need to build up to a million rooms this game. I gotta build a million rooms because there's basically two people that aren't in the family growth queue. And there's two people that no longer need wood for the rest of the game. So I just have to build five rooms here. Also, I have this I have this uh, furniture anyway. So whatever happens, we, we just are obligated to build five rooms. There, there's just like nothing, nothing that we can do otherwise. Uh, this is not good to play. <laughs> this is collector in big country is not great. Uh, you are going to point cap yourself so hard by doing it that way. Uh, okay, I got my build. I did not think about what I was doing after that, though. I can play another Auk. I could play a Bell Founder here. I go Bell Founder, Clay Supply. Is this a good time for that? I don't want to eat Clay. I really don't want to eat Clay. I would rather do it later on. I just read stone food. Read stone food's always good. Yeah, we need more read. We need more stone. Okay. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing with this read stone food, but it's got to be good. It's got to be good. I want to play Soros Keeper at some point, but whatever. I can do I can do Ox later. I, I'm a little nervous to Ox soon-ish because I still need to feed and eat and stuff like that. I'm probably supposed to play this Fornade here. I'm probably supposed to Fornade. Just a feed. It's too convenient. I probably should just oct there. I probably just sucked it up and oct. It's very inconvenient to do it, but I probably should have just done it anyways. Whatever. Give me family grow. Yep, you can take the sheep. Don't care at all. Taking the sheep with collector and play is a non-bow. That's that's a non-bow for sure. Alright, so we gotta beat a 50 this game. If we beat a 50 this game, we're beating the big country person. Because that is like a hard and fast point cap. Yeah, they're gonna do that. They're gonna starting player. I would like to set up to build again next turn if possible. Because if I can build next turn, I can go like starting player into uh, build a room. Should be pretty nice. I don't think I can do that though. I think I have to take a food action here. Maybe, we, well, we have to take a read action if we want to, we have to do a lot of things. Um, yeah, we're going to Fornade here. This is definitely Fornade coming down. Card's so dumb. So good. So, so good. What a good card. Just give us six food. We're going we're gonna to highlight the card. Since since we didn't get the extension to work, we're just going to do this every time we play a card. We're just going to pull it up for a little bit and then, and then pull it back down. If you want to know what a card does, by the way, chat, please ask me. I will be happy to zoom in on a card for you. I'm more than happy to do that. I'm more than happy to do that. Uh-huh. Yep. Starting player, so you can guarantee the grow. That makes sense. Reed had a toad. Wow, this is the worst toad of all time. This toad is not good very very late um yeah i would love to build next round we did we got to set up a build how much wood do i get if i pass it up nah i don't know this is gonna be a high scoring game this game is gonna be really high scoring there is so much good stuff going on in this game so many people are doing really good things All right, that's actually good for this person. The problem is that they don't have a wood. I think this collector is like such a big mistake. What is this person building? Is this a hearth? Oh, they can't feed. Bro, you have, f you have f three food. You're in a raw eat a grain. You're in a clay oven. I guess clay oven makes a little bit of sense. Oh, this bell founder is so bad. I'm sad that I, I, I psyched myself into building this bell founder. I really wish that I had this stone, the guy to eat stone here. Honestly, it would have been way better. Um, what am I doing here? I want four stone. I want reed stone food or four wood. Got to be four wood. Got to be four wood. Four wood's way too strong here. Way too strong. It's strong. I need to play the Bell Founder soon. Bell Founder's got to get played soon. I got I got a Bell Founder soon. I might Bell Founder for points, honestly. It might just be all points for Bell Founder. 
Is person gonna run out of stone? Whoa, I should recycle brick soon. I need to recycle brick actually, because this this person might run out of stone and start doing stone house things. And if that person does that, then I really wanna have this recycled brick in play. That would actually be really, really nice. That'd be so nice here. Okay, we have two animals. Oh, we have a bunch of animal capacity. Okay, so it doesn't really matter if we eat or not. That's fine. That's fine. Yep. Yeah, we're just never building majors this game. I wish I could eat my stone so bad. Oh, I wish I could eat it so bad. Um, no, I want to put it in my house. What do you mean confirm and cook one? Like, I have four sheep here? Oh, I'm so fed. I'm fed forever. This consultant's going to be pretty bad, but whatever. I guess every ox a two-point move. I can't really argue with that. I got to play Bell Founder and eat my clay soon. Lettuce patch, sure. I want to play, hilariously, I want to play Recycled Brick and Clay Supply <laughs> instead of playing Mining Hammer and, and Milking Stool here. I'm very tempted to play both of those. Okay, yep, this is the thing. Yes, it is. You got your Stork's Nest. Um, well, I'm not going to look a Gift 5 wood in the, in the mouth and, and not take it. That's pretty cool. Then we want, uh, we have to build this turn. Obligated to build. Um, we, we gotta take a read build this turn. What does Stork's Nest do? So Stork's Nest basically, um, it costs, five, it's a five occupation prerequisite. So it's like, it, you have to play five ox in order to even play it. But then in the returning home phase of each round, you get to family grow for a uh, food here. Blocking my read stone food. That's very, very rude. Whatever, I'll just take two read and build. That's fine. So yeah, it's, it's very good. It's very, very good. Uh, what am I doing with this? I don't want to play Clay Supply here. I want to play Recycled Brick, and then we're going to Bell Founder next turn. Yeah, we're going to Recycle Brick here, and then we will we will see if this person rounds to stone here. I guess I go Milking Stool. No, I want to Recycle Brick, and then on the Family Girl, we'll play Clay Supply. That, that seems better to me. That seems better to me. And then we're only building one room here, because I don't want to... Yeah, basically, exactly. Yeah, so basically, you get lots and lots of peeps for, for doing that. This... Yeah, we don't need a lot of Clay until later, and then we're going to build... That way we get a fourth family member very soon, because why not? Give me this room. We will be building a fifth room here, but we're not going to do it now. We could potentially build in clay, so... Okay, we want a major minor improvement. What do I want here? I would like... I hilariously want to play this... Re this Recycle Brick is actually good, given that this person is probably renoing to stone at some point in the very near future. So I, I need to get the... Getting, getting like a three clay grab for free here is like actually completely insane. Um, no stables for me. No thanks. We have, we have plenty of space for our sheep here. So we're fine. We are okay. Somehow we got to time a reno with this Bell Founder. That's the, gonna be the one tricky thing about Bell Founder is timing a reno with it, but it, it's gonna be fine, I think. There's so much clay on the board. What happened? What's happening? There's a stupid amount of clay. Do I take a six clay grab here? Uh. Uh. Do I take a six clay grab? Yeah, Recycle Brick left's pottery. I mean, the problem is that I have to play this Bell Founder because it's two points to play the Bell Founder right now. I have to play every card in my hand. Like, that's the problem. Pottery is very good. Like, if I can get pottery, I'm not optimistic about getting pottery, though, because this person has Stonecutter in play. Who knows what this person's doing? I guess they built the well. Like, the, the Stonecutter with five stone, I just, I have no idea what people are going to do, so I'm not counting on it. Um, does it only it all it's only between rooms, but you can also hold a normal sheep in your in your house So um, we're just taking wood here. I believe I think wood is the thing that we need the most uh, We don't need to family grow because this person's never family growing here So we just take wood we just take wood and then we're gonna try and get our fifth room soonish How am I doing on food? I'm doing fine on food. My food's fine My food's fine We're doing okay Yeah, we don't really care about food here not, not right now later on we definitely will do I play clay supply here? I'm, I'm very tempted by a six clay action. If we can get a six clay action here, I'm going to be very tempted by it. Taking starting is big country, not ideal. <laughs> it's really not ideal to starting in round nine is big country. That is extremely non-ideal. Yeah, that, that seems bad to me. That seems better to me. It's like, like you can hold animals. Fencing seems better so that you can hold animals. That seems a lot better. Yeah, what I want to do here man well we're gonna play all of our miners at least at least all of our miners are gonna get played that's kind of nice 
<laughs> All the Agricola people saying hi to each other. We love to see it. Agricola community is so sweet. I love the Agricola community. They're very, very cool. Um, all right, what are we doing? I want to play this mining hammer at some point too. All these things I want to play. On the on the builder room, we're going to mining hammer. Um, so this, we got to grow. What's our other action? I don't even think I want this clay. I think this clay is just bad. Uh, how much clay is it? How much clay do I need to build and grow? I need to play Ox at some point too. When do I play Ox? Next time I'm taking two read. Yeah, when do I play Ox here? I'm trying to think if I can build in clay or not. If I can build in clay, this is actually insane. Yeah, we're gonna try and build in clay actually. Okay, so we take clay and then we, I think I can take clay and build in clay because I can grow. Yeah, no one can family grow. Okay, cool. Oh, this person grew. Wait, this person grew on family growth spot. Why would they grow on family growth spot? That doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense to me. If you're going to play Stork's Nest, you, you can't take family growth on family growth spot. Just play a freaking flail. This is awful. Like, take starting player. Don't take family growth. Why would you do that? That, that doesn't make any sense. If you're playing Stork, if you're playing Stork's Nest and you're going to family growth just to play a minor, you played it wrong. <laughs> like, you messed up. Makes no sense at all. I mean, I'll take this. That way I can build in, in clay later on. I'll do it. It does deny me an action here, though, which is actually pretty big. Denying me an action is actually very lame, but whatever. This person can't really fight me. I mean, they can go starting player into build if they really want to, but I don't think they're going to do that. I think that's very bad for them. Then I should play knock here, but now I can't, which is unfortunate. That's okay. Winter Caretaker, very good card. That card's very, very good. That card's really good here. I mean, I could just, I'm probably just building in clay here. I'm, just, I'm still upset they, they did that. Oh, we're collectoring here. That's nutty. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy that we're collectoring here. God, there's like nothing great I can do. I don't want to read stone food. I'm very tempted to take this clay again. What am I doing with all this clay? I mean, I'm renoing and building in clay. That's what I'm doing. I could reno right now. I could just go reno cooking hearth and build. I mean, I could just reno right the heck now. I don't need anything right now. And this person got reno to stone eventually anyways. I don't know when they're doing that. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna reno now. There's not really a great time for me to reno here. I don't need to play a miner on this reno. The question, uh, the problem is that the major I'm building is like upgrading to a cooking hearth, which sucks. It's so bad. Um, I just don't, I could do pottery, but I can't because I don't have the stone for it. Very inconvenient timing here. All right, whatever. We're, we're just gonna, we're, we're not gonna pottery here. We're just gonna frickin', we're gonna build a room in clay eventually. Oh, we have exactly four. Yeah, I mean, this is fine. This is fine to just upgrade to a cooking hearth here. Totally fine. I'll, I'll just do that. It's not the bad, the worst of all time because we can we can just uh, be fine. I didn't realize I had four clay here. Four clay is a good amount of clay to have. Because we can go like clay supply and then play bell founder and do stuff with that. Like that's not going to be terrible. Oh, please, Rhino. Oh, no, this person's building. Okay, cool. All right, you got it. I'm still, yeah, I'm still upset about this family growth. Okay, they're building. Yep, that's fine. You got it. That's totally okay. I guess I'll family growth my first action, and I will play clay supply here. I think I could play milking stool. The problem is I'm just gonna play milking stool when I build. Um. Okay, we do this for feeding. That's fine. Food is a little bit monka s. <laughs> I gotta worry about my food again. I gotta, I gotta worry about my food again. My food's getting a little scuffed again. I gotta worry about it. Gotta worry about my food a little bit again, which is fine. I guess, I guess playing consultant's like a three food action, right? Kappa. I want to fence here, honestly. Fencing and taking pigs would be insane for us. 
Yeah, I will put this in my uh, house. I would like to hold this sheep in my house, please. Thank you. I'm playing all my ox here, so all my ox are getting played. Unfortunately, we had to do this out of order. This mining hammer is just like, I don't know, it's a food. Very unfortunate. You gotta plow. I will grow. Grow into my clay supply. Because this gives me a, a clay to build. We need to take two, two reed here very aggressively. I don't want anyone messing around with that. So the next action will be two reed. And then after that, I will uh, I to do something. Fence probably. I'll probably fence and then build two reed, actually. I, I need some food actions. So like, and no one's taking the um, the boars. I, I don't think that this person's taking boars on me. I, I don't think so. They can't cook it. There's nothing they can do with the boars. Like they can cook it to hate me if they really want to, but it's not good for them to do it. Lessons. I do need to start very aggressively slamming ox. No, my clay delivery man. It's not even good for you. This is like a, a four clay action. This is so bad. They don't even have the bell founder to make this good. That's that's so sad for them. That is very sad. This is so sad. All right. No, no ox for me this turn. That's fine. We, we will play ox eventually. Eventually, we'll play these ox. We'll get them out of our hand. We're going to play this bell founder eventually. Sorrow's Keeper is going to do something. It's always going to do something. Because it's almost like a three food, two point action that we have at some point later on in the game. Like, eventually, we'll do it. I just don't know when. Rewind. I might fence before I take this to read, honestly. Is anyone else really taking this to read? I don't think so. I'm, I'm hard pressed to think anyone else is going to take this to read. I can take to read in two turns and be fine too. Like it's not going to be a huge deal if I do that because I can't, I can't grow before then anyways. Um, I will just fence now. Uh, fencing now is good because it denies this person a fence. Um, 12 fences, 12 fences, 11 fences maybe because I, then I can play my thing. Yeah, let's build. I don't need that much animal space. But I want to fence big. We'll just do this. This is fine. Yeah, it's a little bit inconvenient to avoid a fence, but I think it's fine. We So we save one wood for the improvement that we need. Yeah, playing the mining hammer is a food and a point. I think that's, that's fine. I'd rather do that. Yeah, that's totally fine here. All right, this is fine. Do a little small pasture. We, we're not strapped for animal space. This is like pretty efficient of a way to fence. It lets us fence later potentially. It lets us plow lots of fields later on if we really need to. But um, and then I'm gonna let these these uh, boars stack because no one else can eat them. So we're gonna let them stack to three. If someone else really wants to take the boars, that's fine. Yeah, this person's just collectoring to to do. I really think that this is a mistake. I think this is such a big mistake to to collector after big country like the problem with big country is that you're point capped and collector does not help you with that at all like like so now even though he's gonna have a ton more actions like what is he doing with those actions like like not much is the answer and he's gonna give me all the animal pairs too which is nice it's really nice to for me to get all the animal pairs here okay, what am i doing with my last action again what is Big Country? Oh yeah, Big Country is a card that says that when um, you can only play it having all of your farmyard spaces used. Why is the D over there for some reason, by the way? Um, and uh, okay, and then we take the two read. Good. Um, and and so, but when you play it, you get for every harvest or for every round remaining, you get two food and a victory point. So basically, he played it and or they played it in round like six. So they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bonus points and sixteen food. So because they filled up their entire farm here. But the problem with that is that they can't build another room, right? So so basically, in order to grow your family, you have to build rooms to grow your family. So they didn't build any extra rooms to to grow. So that was a problem for them because like like now they're gonna have a hard time getting a lot of points and they're gonna be very point capped because every family members were three points so like you really want to play a lot of family member or get a lot of family members to get a lot of points normally but like if you're playing a game like that the big country makes up for it but you have to make up for those points in other ways so like he has the well here which is good which is you know four points and gives you a good trickle of food here like that's pretty good but um you know it, it's uh things are not ideal you could say because so again collector makes it so you can take a bunch of different resources but every time you use it you have to to take a begging card they probably sleep corner yeah they could have sleeping corner sleeping corner would help a lot that would be very good i did pass the sleeping corner i think in my original pack i think i passed the sleeping corner i, I think I, I passed that so that would make sense 
Uh, we're, okay, we're taking animals here. So what are we doing? We're taking animals, we're building. We're playing Bell Founder. Animals, build, Bell Founder. Probably taking more animals, honestly. Um, animals, build, Bell Founder. I gotta take animals with my first action in case Alco fences. We have four sheep. Okay, we're gonna be fine on food after we get this, actually. Animals, build, Bell Founder. I could take four stone, too. I'm gonna do this first. Um, I wait. Am I gonna do this first? Is there any reason to do this first? I could just take four stone here and try and run out of stone. Does running to stone do anything for me? I kind of need it for my point cap here. Stone good for anyone else here? No, it's not. It's only good for this person, and it's not that good. I can just pick up stone later. Yeah, I just rather pick up a million animals now. Um, I'd rather pick up this. This build, ock. This build awk, more things. This build awk, that. We're gonna do this now. If I if I don't get this, it's really bad. The stone is like fine for me. Not necessary, but it's fine. Oh, I wanna confirm this. Yes, I do. How much food do I? Oh yeah, I'm fed now. I, I just need to get that. I need to get that to, to get feeding out of the way. I'd probably actually take a cow. I think a cow is better than four stone here, hilariously. The the stone, so few people need it. Like nobody needs the stone at all. Are there any majors available actually? That's that's one determinant of things. If there are majors available, there are some majors available. Maybe stone's not that bad. Maybe stone is not that bad. Maybe I'm undervaluing it a little bit. This, it's not good for anyone else in the game. Yeah, that person could take it. That's the one person who it's good for. That's fine. This awk build. Awk build cow? Yeah, awk build cow seems nice. Oh, I guess I could have taken the stone and then taken an improvement on build. But I want to play the cards in my hand. Playing the cards in my hand is fine. Like, these two are good cards. Um, Improvement build cow. I'm going to take a cow here. I think taking a cow here is fine. Is taking a cow better than, than four sheep? What the heck? Why am I considering a cow over four sheep? I have three, four, five, six, seven... Cow is actually a million food, too, because I have milking stool that I'm going to play this turn. Yeah, as weird as it is, I think sheep is so likely to... Is it likely to stack? It's just eight food. I think the cow is worth enough at this point that I'm willing to take it. It's very strange. I feel bad doing it. It's probably not correct. <laughs> I'm just letting this person get a bunch of sheep here when they fence. Um, there is a chance that I get five sheep next round, which is crazy. That's actually There's actually a chance of that happening. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. I think that they're probably just going to take the sheep, which is fine. They're just going to fence and take the sheep, which is totally fine by me. I don't really mind that at all. I just think the cow's better for me. The cow. I really want to get cows breeding as soon as possible for the milking stool points. Like, I'm very... I, I have a problem with point cap stuff because I can't take rounds 12, 13, 14 actions. I can't do that. So as a result, I'm very point capped. Also, plows are, like, pretty heavily contested by green here, which is going to be an issue later on. So that's going to impact my point cap, which means that I need to really uh, focus on the things that I can do. Yeah, so like I'm not getting the sheep here. I just don't really care. I need to I need to continue advancing my strategy. I can't really care enough. I have to play so many ox here for points that it's it's unbelievable. So I gotta prioritize that. Yeah, they're gonna start player for the family growth. That makes sense. Oh the Bell Founder isn't even good this turn. What a bummer. What a bummer Bell Founder not even good this turn. What a sadness that is. Will they play Wildlife Reserve? That seems actually okay here. That actually seems okay. Let you have the sheep. I will play my Auk here. Um, what do I want to play here? Wait, do I need more food? I have three, four, five, six, seven. I actually need more food here. I, I miscounted my food. I actually need one more food here. Right? Oh, no, no. I have, I have a Milking Stool. I'm probably supposed to play it anyways and just play Bell Founder next turn. Because I can't use the Bell Founder this turn. We can't use it this turn. We can only use it next turn. Yeah, we'll just play Consultant. That's fine. We'll just use it next turn. We'll, we'll play it next turn. We'll get our sheep this turn. That's fine. It feels bad, but it's two points, so it's it's worth worth two points in my sheep. I'll, I'll take my, my food action now. That's fine. We're, we're just going to slam Ock for every turn for the rest of the game. As, like, our last action, hopefully, and that'll be a lot of points. And then we're building with our last action. Which, hopefully, we're not getting stable block. <laughs> That would be very sad if we got stable blocked here. I'd be very sad. I mean, I guess I'd just play another Auk in that case. Um, Trouble Slicer, that card's very good. 
I love Trouble Slicer so much. We're still in good shape. I don't know if we're winning. We might be winning. We got to plow really aggressively his next couple turns. I got to plow so aggressively here. I need to take a veggie. How do I get a veggie? All right, build a room. Build me a room. And then we'll play a milking stool here for free. Give me this milking stool. Thank you very much. Uh, pass, and then... Sure. Good. Good. Um, oh, no. I can't hold everything on the screen anymore. That's so sad. I, I made three rows. I gotta shrink the cards a little bit so, so I can hold everything on screen. What a bummer. They gotta get even smaller now. Oh, wait. Maybe I can shrink the size of the player boards. Maybe that's better, actually. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. Everything sucks. Oh, this is as good as it's gonna get. Uh, I would like to cook a lot of things here. Uh, five, four, yeah, like this is what I want. Cool. Boom. Pay to feed my family. Yeah, I need plows. Just plow me. Give me plows. I'm never getting plows again. I need, I need plows now. I need plows now. I just need the plow. I need plows. I need ox. Every action I take from here on out should be a two point action at least. Like that's nice. In which case I'm probably getting a pretty good score. So that's nice. It's good. No, dude, the bat, the, that's a bad outcome. Three stone is the same thing as, as four stone for me. I like have to reno here, right? Um, I would like to hold this in my, in my thing. Yep, hold the sheep, good. I want to take a cow this turn. This person didn't take the sheep. What the heck? Well, if five sheep gets to me, I will probably take it because it feeds me for the entirety of the game, which is worth a bunch of points here. Wow, taking so... Oh, yuck, dude. Is 10 food worth it? Um, What am I doing this turn? Family growing? Wow, how much? How many points is 10 food worth? I think 10 food is actually worth that many points. I, th I think 10 food is worth quite a bit here. I mean, at worst, it's two points. At worst, it's two points. At best, it's a bunch of food. I have to take it. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. I mean, if I don't take it, this guy's gonna take it. 10 food, dude. The problem is I don't get plows if I do this. That's a big problem. I might be okay without plows though. I mean, it's just so good. I don't do it. The plows are gonna be so awful. The plowing is gonna be so awful if I don't do it. Uh, all right, whatever. They're both two point actions. I can never get back ever again. So we'll just do it now. Hold all the sheep. We, we are holding 11 sheep now. We have the most sheep of all. Dude, our house is so destroyed right now. We have the most destroyed house of all time. We, our house is is actually completely dumpstered here. I forgot I had recycled brick. <laughs> I just forgot about recycled brick. No, dude, not like this. I forgot we had recycled brick. What a bummer. I could take more reed and build again. Could do that. Uh, what do I want to do here? If plow gets back to me, I have to plow, which, okay, I guess we're plowing. I forgot about recycled brick. Sag. Completely forgot about recycled brick. Oh, yeah, this person's building again. That's funny. Funny, funny stuff. Well, this seems easy peasy. I have to awk this turn as well. This is the right place to plow. Must awk this turn. Am I awking a storehouse keeper? I guess I'm awking a storehouse keeper here because I probably will take reedstone food at some point. It's like fine to take reedstone food because at worst with it, I can build a, a freaking um, improvement. And at best we can, we can reno with it. Renoing might be kind of scuffed. Yeah, Renoing looks really bad this game. Maybe we're not playing Storehouse Keeper. Oh, we're playing Bellfounder this turn. I forgot we're playing Bellfounder. We got a Bellfounder. This is, this is the time for Bellfounder to shine. And then we can Storehouse Keeper later. <laughs> we can Storehouse Keeper, and then we're just gonna... We're, I think we're turning our Bellfounder stuff into points. I think all the Bellfounder stuff is turning into points. My pottery, no! My pottery! Maybe we can build another room. Ock. Bro, I want a cow this turn too. Uh, I need too many things. 
I need too many things here. Uh, I don't want to cow with my first action next turn. Yeah, we're going to cow. Oh, we have to awk. We have to awk here. We're obliged to awk here. Barn. Darn, 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 darn. We have to awk. Unfortunate, because I would love a cow here. A cow is worth, like, so many points. Can I just skip the Bell Founder this turn and do it next turn? Is that worth it? Yeah, cow's worth three points if I do it this turn. So I have to cow. Yeah, it's worth three points. It's worth three points and, like, an extra food. We have to cow this turn. It's it's too important. It's too many points to do it this turn, unfortunately. Yeah, it, it's just too many points. Way too many points to cow this turn. Unfortunately. Um, I have to family grow as well this turn, I think, right? Yeah, I have to family grow this turn. I could not family grow, actually. I could just bell worker. I, I am going to be, like, a little bit point cap. No, I'm not going to be that point cap. I'm going to be that point cap that I'm just like, oh, yeah, family growing later on is better. You can build. That's fine. No, you can't build because you are short a, a clay for that. That's fine, too. There's going to be a two-point bell founder that I play here. The old two-point bell founder. I guess that's okay. I guess if the floor on bell founder is that you get two points, that's actually not that bad. Yeah, I just have to play every arc. All right. I will wish and play my, my one point my or my, my one point one food action good oh my god dude the the card space is real it's getting a little cramped whatever you can see my scythe worker bell founder store housekeeper that's all i got left is ox which is fine i just gotta play them all next few turns and we'll be fine gotta play them all yeah the 10 food is actually pretty good here the 10 food is actually pretty insane i will take the stone very aggressively if I get a chance to take four stone. Well, can I reno with it? Can I actually reno with the stone? If I can't reno with the stone, I can't take the stone. If I can't reno with it, I can't take it. Oh, whatever. They're taking the option off the board. I, renoing is not very point efficient for me anyways, because I, I have so few improvements that I could play. Like, renoing is super non-point efficient here. It's very, very not point efficient. How many of these sheep am I eating? The answer is a lot, I think. So our first action is going to be plow if it gets to us. We have to plow here. Um, it's too important. Too many points. Yes, yeah, recycled brick ended up not being great, unfortunately. Um, I could build another room. I could take... No, okay, the stone got taken. But I could still build another room. Building another room might not be bad. Is there an improvement that I could build if I build a room? Stone oven? Hmm. Stone oven, you say? If I, I could build a room stone oven here? Build a room stone oven is pretty insane. Yeah, Builder Room Stone Oven seems pretty juicy. That seems pretty nice to me. I mean, I, so how do I get points here? Building a so I, I, Building Room Stone Oven is three actions for five points. That's not great. I can do better by just slamming Ox. So the first priority is slamming Ox here. That's going to be the first priority. Okay, blocking the Builder Room spot. We'd love to see that. This guy's a blocker. This guy's really trying to make it so that people can't get a lot of points. The problem is that it's so point cap. Like, why are you doing this instead of family growing without room? What's up with that? Yeah, that's crazy. Why are we doing that instead of family growing without room? What the heck is that? That's a crazy move. That's an absolutely absurd move. Well, I will take this plow to the bank because it is three points for us. All right, now we're winning. Now we're just winning. Now we're just straight up winning. I mean, we were straight up winning anyways, but I, th I think we're just even more straight up winning. Because, yeah, every ox two points. We're going to breed a million points here. Uh, we can. We have, like, options to build if we need to. They need the animal capacity. Ah, uh, I see. That makes sense. Um, they need... Do they, though? Okay, so if they didn't do it, then they need... No, I don't think they do. I don't think they do need the, the animal capacity. I'm pretty sure they don't need that. Um, oh, uh, Jeg, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I don't think they need it. I'm pretty sure they don't need that. I'm, I'm like, 90% sure that they do. Because, like, if they, they can hold four cows right now by putting, by putting cows, two cows here, cow in the animal reserve and cow in their house. Um, and then they can hold three boars by putting two, two boars on the fence pasture and then one pa boar in the animal reserve. So I don't think they need the animal capacity at all. I think that was just a mistake. Hey, give me the clay. Let's go. Give me that clay. Oh, we can't build anymore, by the way. Okay, we also can't take stone oven anymore because that person took stone oven. Whatever. Majors suck. <laughs> I, majors suck, dude. People overvalue majors so much. Majors are so bad. Why play majors when I could just like have the, the most nutty farm of all time? Screw majors. 
Screw majors. We're, we're over majors. Oh, wait, they do have a sleeping corner. All right, you were right. Okay, that makes more sense. If they have sleeping corner, this makes a lot more sense. Having sleeping corner makes this make a lot more sense. So where are they hitting here? They're hitting like a 50. Can we beat a 50? Yeah, we can definitely beat a 50. Um, yeah, we're bell foundering. Screw building. Building sucks. We're just, we're just bell foundering every single little bit of clay. <laughs> we're just going to bell founder all the clay. Um, yeah, I can still reno too, which is funny. No, maybe I can't. Maybe this guy's going to reno on me. Um, okay, we're playing Ock. Ock, Ock, Veggie. Ock, Ock, Veggie. What can I do with a freaking major BMW? Hmm. Does anyone else need veggies here? Yes, this guy needs veggies. Um... I'm going to lead on Veggie then. I'm, I'm going to gamble that people aren't playing Ox this turn. We're going to gamble on that. If people are, then it's fine. But it's... it's uh, We have ways to get points if people are, are playing Ox this turn. We have ways to do it. <laughs> this Bell Founder is going to be hilarious. We're converting like 12 clay into 2 points, which is super funny. All right, they're going to take the read. That's fine too. They're going to take read for BMW. That's also fine. Can I take wood here and fence again? It's only one point to do that, unfortunately. They're gonna take wood. All right, they got that. Yep. All right, we're running a little low on things to do with points here. That's fine. We can sow this turn, actually. Sowing this turn's fine. Yeah, we'll just sow this turn. We'll just sow this turn. We'll just play our... Bell Founder is by far the most important thing here. We got to play Bell Founder because we're literally doing nothing with this clay. I, I could... Oh, I could actually... Actually, what I could do, I could build a major improvement and build a fireplace this turn because otherwise the clay is going to waste anyways. So we could do that. Um, okay, actually, wait. Maybe I can move this to below the board. You can do this. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. This is... I want this. Yes! Look, there we go. Boom. There we go. Look how beautiful this is. Now that we have a small enough hand, I can fit it underneath the board. It's not going to be a big issue. Although it's a little big, it's kind of going into the thing there. That's fine. I still think we're okay here. I don't know. It's going to be close, actually. I don't know if I'm... If I'm not breaking 50, I'm not winning. But if I'm breaking 50, I'm, like, almost certainly winning... That's the that's the the line that we we draw in the sand. Yeah, gotta play scythe worker here. Must play scythe worker. Hmm. Look at all these sheep I have in my house. Look at all these sheep I have in my house. Look at this. Look at these sheep, dude. Look at all the sheep in my house. Where is my house? There's my house. Look at all these sheep. All these sheep are in my house. How many ticks did I do? There we go. Um, Auk and So? Auk and So seems fine. It unlocks point actions next turn. Auk, So. Sure. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just Auk, So. Scythe worker, So. Yepers. Give me this. Confirm. And then we will sew here. Um, what was I thinking about doing instead of sewing? Oh, I could also major minor instead. Major minoring instead is kind of interesting. Is major minoring better here than sewing? No, this person gets sew next turn on me if I don't sew this turn. So sewing is potentially a two point move. I can't take this improvement next turn though. That's a problem. Oh, maybe I can. If someone else rounds to stone, I'm gonna be fine. Does this person need read? Yeah, they do. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna sew. I think sewing's just better anyways. I think it's just better. So. Yeah, we'll just sell. It's a point at least, and, and it probably could turn into two points because I can take a grain later on and get a point with the storehouse keeper. Um, we are going to gain um, three food is two sheep, so I think a point's better. Yeah, point's just better here. Yeah, I would like a point. Give me my point, please. Oh, we're easily beating this guy. I, I, I Yeah, we're, we're easily beating this. If we're at 45 right now, we're just like easily winning this game. Easily, easily, easily winning. Um, I would like to harvest one additional grain, please, because I can I can feed with it if if possible. Yeah, we're just easily winning this. Um, we do have to eat a lot of uh, a lot of points here, but that's fine. 
Yeah, we're gonna eat um, a boar because boar is point efficient, and then the rest of it's gonna be with sheep. So we're at two food. We're gonna be at three food. So we need boar and two sheep here. We might be at max sheep points actually. We might be able to max out sheep points, which is nice. That'd be cool. That would be very very cool. This is gonna be a huge game actually. We we have a huge uh, score here. This is gonna be a big big score. I didn't think we were going to be doing that good. I thought I got kind of screwed this game, but the power of God and anime was on my side. We had the power of God and anime on our side. Love love to see it when you have the power of, of God and anime on your side. It's very nice. <laughs> oh, I forgot Constable was in this game. Lol W. <laughs> Oh my god, so did the collector guy. Okay, wait, we're fine. The collector guy also forgot Constable was in this game, so you know what? It's fine. I completely forgot that was in this game. Would that have changed anything? I don't think it would have, honestly. Honestly, I don't think it would have changed. I'm glad that I didn't think about it, because if it had changed how I played, probably I would have done something worse than what I'm doing now. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're, we're happy that we didn't play around Constable here, because it probably would have made me play worse, honestly. Honestly, would have made me play worse if I had done that. Yes, this is fine. How high can we go? We're going to have... Okay, what, what score are we going to have? We're going to have 47. 48, 49. I don't know, we can have like a 55 here pretty easily. Oh, I forgot we also had this too. I, for, I forgot that we have freaking another sheep coming in too. That's poggers all right so we can eat two sheep here so we have exactly seven food we need three more food to feed the harvest that's fine i guess we can bell found it if we really need to three more food for the harvest um two hold on a second pause champ um two cows is worth two points for us so we need to take we need to take a field we need to take two cows okay two rhinos first action we'd love to see that two cow can i get two cows here is two cows ever wheeling um plow field is never wheeling mm. what are our actions this turn two cows is two points plow field oh it is wheeling if animal pairs are there yeah, it's wheeling if animal pairs are there. Okay, so in that case, we're going to take two cows then, because it's two points, but it also there is also a chance that the plow comes back to us. So we're going to just do this, put these cows in here. Yeah, I can hold all these, right? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to reorganize now to just make sure that we can hold all these here, but I'm pretty sure that we can. Um, okay, so we're going to cook that. We're going to put all these in there. We're going to this, put these in here. Yeah, I got to reorganize these all really fast. That's fine. And then I'm going to put this this cow in my house. How do I put this cow in my house? There we go. That's what I want. Um, and then we cook one. Yeah, let's go. All right, this is what we want. Yeah, because this is point loons for us, I believe. Oh, we're, we need to move the, the freaking... We need to move the, the cow and the, sh and the boar around, but this works. If we move the cow and the boar around, this totally works. Yeah, we, we just switch the cow and the boar. This totally works. All right, let's go. I'll take my two-point move. It's also a food. It also gets us a food there. Um, so three, four, five. Yeah, so it's it's points in a food. Yeah, so this is fine. I have more clay. <laughs> I have so much clay. I've, I'm turning 10 clay into two points with Bell Founder. What a tilter that is. What a sad Bell Founder. Yeah, see, they're, they're going to take the sheep instead of plowing a field because animal pairs are worth more. Why? Oh, I see. Yeah, animal pairs are worth more points, and they're, they're more hotly contested than plows are right now for some reason. So, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. We did a thing. Imagine building majors this game that aren't good at cooking hearth. Imagine that. Five. Yes, yeah, so we're breeding to 49. Yeah, whatever. Renoing overrated. We could just have a perfect farm. Don't plow a field, please. Please don't plow. Please take this pair of animals. Why, though? The pair of animals, dude. It's a pair. You don't want this pair of animals? Bro, the animals... Oh, it needs to... Okay, that makes sense. That makes more sense. For some reason, grain utilization is not taken, and I'm very sad about that. Why is grain utilization not taken? I guess I messed up. 
49. Wait, am I not beating this guy? Hmm. <laughs> I gotta play an Auk here. Auk. Can I fence? Does anyone need to fence? Ah, oh, that person can fence. Fencing is a two point move for me. Uh, everything is one point for me. What the heck do I do here? Uh, I really want that field. One, two, three, four. Is anyone fencing this turn? Let me just ask that question. Is anyone fencing this turn? That person's probably going to fence, right? Yeah, I can stable instead, but that's bad. Um, one, two, three. Okay, we're, we're going to take the action that is worth points to me. Actually, no, no, we'll take a veggie. Wait, 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 we'll take a veggie here. We'll take veggie. Veggies, veggies points, it's very blockable by other people. We'll take a veggie here. We'll do that. It, it's a point. We'll do that. That's, that's easy peasy. Veggie's by far the most blockable action here. I can't, I can't find other actions worth more points, so I think that's fine. Uh, okay, building stables, that is not what I expected at all. I did not expect this to be stables. Oh, they're building a room. Okay, that is cool. That means that we can wood fence here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, wood fence awk. Is that my clearest avenue to points? Wood fence awk. I may not win this. That's very unfortunate. Is this person going to get family growth out room? How do they feed? Oh, they have a fireplace. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, too. Womp womp. Womp womp. Um, yeah, I mean, I might I might lose to Big Country, dude. Hate to see it. And Big Country Collector. I was I was knocking on this Big Country Collector. It really worked out for them. I'm, I'm a little shocked, actually. That was another avenue to points is doing that. How many more point actions do I have? Yeah, they wheeled it. That's unfortunate. Wood fence. Can anyone fence here? No. Wood fence. Wood fence awk. That's got to be wood fence awk here. Yeah, got to be wood fence awk. I mean, I go grain, food awk. That's also fine. Yeah, we'll go wood fence awk. That's fine. Improve my farm a little bit. I don't think anyone can fence. If someone can fence, then I messed up. If someone can fence, this is very bad for me. If someone can fence, I really messed up here. And then we'll just hope the food works out. 50, 52, 54. I might still win this. This might still be winnable. We have to eat a point somewhere, I think, but I, I think it's gonna be all right. We get to eat one sheep. I might win this. We might be winning. We got very screwed getting that field block. That was very lame. Oh, and that only cost me like a point. I can't really be sad about that. Silly storehouse keeper. Storehouse keeper was a grain. It'd be worth a point. That'd be cool. All right, you got it. You can have the awk. They're plotting against me. Oh, actually this awk is broken though. Okay, well, I guess we have to awk next. I, I need to take the wood here so that way we didn't get blown out, but whatever. I guess it would only cost me one point if that happened because I could just fish for, for food and that was worth a point to me. Worth a point to fish for a food here. Yeah, your family grows that room. It's 52. Where are they going to be at? 53. No, they're at. Hmm. I don't know what they're going to be at. Resource tiebreak might be a big deal here. Might care about resource tiebreak here. Yeah, if I care about resource tiebreak, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. Because, I, I mean, converting, using the Bell Founder to convert uh, clay to a point is going to be better no matter what than a than a tiebreaker point, so. Do that. No one can fence still, right? Good. I will just play my Auk then. Yep. Play this. It's two points. Hmm. Am I winning? I do not know. I have no clue if I'm winning or not. He has a strong, um, very, very strong, uh, 
what is it called? Big Country game. I, I am shocked at how well Collector worked with it. I, I did not think Collector was going to be that good with it. But I mean, as it turns out, getting an action to get like two animal pairs, grain and, and two grain and two veggies is still pretty broken. So it ended up being very good for them. I, I really thought it was not going to be that good for them, but it ended up being quite good. I guess they had the sleeping corner, right? Without the sleeping corner, this definitely doesn't work. Without the sleeping corner, this is a lot harder to pull off. Three, six, seven, eight. I'm short of food here, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm short one food exactly. Oh no, I can ride a grain. Let's go. We can ride a grain. We don't actually have to eat a point here. Let's go. Don't have to eat a point. We get to fence. Be happy with it. Let's go. Screw constable. Screw constable. We don't need your constable. We don't need it. Get this constable out of here. Yeah, I think we're winning. I, I think we're winning this because we're gonna breed to fifty-four. Um, this we get to we get to ride a point here. Yeah, we're gonna be at like fifty-five. I don't, I don't know why I thought it was gonna be like close. It's like kind of close. Uh, we want a point here, right? Okay, so I, we're getting three food. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, then I eat that. Okay, cool. Give me a point. Two point or four point bell founder. Let's go. All right, no cards in hand. We we lived the we won our mini game of of getting rid of all of our cards in our hand. Let's go. Um, sure. We'll we'll just it doesn't matter. No additional grain for me. I don't care about your additional grain. Yepers. Yeah. All right. Played a good game. As it turns out, when you have Lantern House Tutor, uh, no, you you can't go wrong as long as you play all the cards in your hand and and you have th the cards in your hand do something. Like the nice thing, like having Scythe Worker was so stupid because it just is like a four point move to play an Auk at the end of the game. Like it's so insane. Like even this Mining Hammer is fine. Like even though we didn't get to Reno, like it was totally, totally fine to do that. Man, I am dark. <laughs> need, need some more light on me. <laughs> Got it. Got to make myself a little lighter, a little dark here. All right, we're gonna cook and exchange some resources. That sounds fun to me. This, right, a grain, and eat this. Cool. Exactly ten food. Love it when you can ride grain to get a to get an extra point efficiency. Cool. Yeah, I I think that honestly, like if if things had gone like really right I, I at the end of the game i didn't know really how to maximize my point efficiency but honestly like every move that i took was worth points like like i took a bunch of moves that were worth points at the end like i got my family grows in i played all my my hand cards like like i don't think that i was supposed to reno there i think going for a reno was a mistake i think i think it just would have been a mistake it would have been less points than than the other side or it would have been highly risky where like you're just risking getting reno blocked there and i was just able to like be very flexible at the end of the game and just like get a nice score like, the score is totally fine here. Totally, totally fine. Beating a above 50 point big country is pretty good. Why do we go down to 51? What happened? Oh, it's because we need to breed. Because breeding's going to put us back up to 55. Yeah, breeding's going to put us to 55. I was very confused about that. I was like, wait a second, why are we so low? And I realized breeding is a, a thing. Yeah. Good. We love to see that. Yeah, just just having a flexible late game is nice. Like like not not trying to. I, there's so many different ways to get points. Like like renoing is only efficient if you have like a really good fence action or a really good major that you can play. And we didn't have the option of reno fencing, so it makes our life a lot easier. Um, because foreign aid is uh, you know, it's very uh, it's a good card, but it has the constriction that you gotta really make sure that you can build all your rooms in time. All right, 55. Let's go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, let's go. Oh, Alco begged at the end. That's a bummer. Well, that's, oh my God. That is so many points lost. That's so sad. They had to beg at the end. That's so sad for them. Whoo, one point victory. Wow, they got to 54. I did not realize that. Jeez Louise. how did they get to 54? What happened? The bread to 54 there? That's nutty. All right, well, we won by a point. GG, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Wasn't even worried for a second, although I was very worried <laughs> actually about no way got constable points, lol. No person got constable points. That's craziness. Yeah, I mean, this was a good game. Ended up being very good. I I'm shocked. 54 with a big country is like shockingly high.